Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Super Mendies. I'm Maxine and I'm going to be posting bi-weekly on Wednesdays. If you would like to be in the next short story and or possibly get a chance to be our 7th Super Mendy, be sure to join the Roblox group and the Discord server linked below. Anyways, this week's theme was horror, so let's get on with the video. Here lies the most picture-perfect family to live in Los Angeles. The Jacksons are very wealthy, influential, and are adored by the public. San is a private chef and helps around his community. His wife, Mia, is a travel nurse. And their eldest daughter, Maxine, is a social media influencer. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you my morning routine and how I get ready for a day at the beach. So, first things first, you know I always gotta start with a good primer. Huh. That was weird. Anyways, where was I? Oh right, primer. So, for today's look, I'm thinking of doing a bright pink eye to really get the- Okay, now what was that? ready everyone's waiting for you in the car hun is everything okay you aren't looking too well but maybe you should stay home if you aren't feeling too good yeah everything's good i promise i feel fine i think i'm just tired from last night i was out all night for an event with fans well, maybe you should stay home today and get some rest i wouldn't want you to get sick before a big summer trip but today's your only day off until then i don't want to miss it no, don't worry about it. We'll figure something out. Just come up, let's pack up the car. Have fun with Evie, sissy. Uh, who's Evie? Eh, I'm sure it's nothing. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Huh? The killings and mysterious disappearances have been going on for nearly a decade, and prosecutors still have little to no lead in finding out who is behind these vicious crimes. Okay, something's definitely not right here. Is someone there? The silence is piercing. Maxine looks away for one second to grab her phone out to call her mom, and the TV turns on again. Prosecutors suspect the killer is hiding within us. Nunu says the newest victim is Evie Laurent. I'm alone. I, I should be alone. Hey babe, Maxine's calling you. Hey honey, is everything okay? Mom, please come home. I'm scared. I, I think someone's in the house with me. Maxine, there is no one in there with you. I promise. There's no way anyone can get in there with the amount of security we have. Can you please just check the cameras? I know someone's here, I swear. Mia checks the cameras, reassuring no one came in or out the house while they were gone. She sets the security alarm to ease Maxine. Okay, hun, I've got to go now, and we won't be back for another three hours or so. What was that all about? 
Oh, nothing. Just Maxine thinks she's saying things and hearing things again. <laughs> There's no way. That's... Th that's impossible. Ari? I'm telling you, I saw someone. Uh, are you sure you're not going crazy? Maybe you just need to calm down. I am calm, but I'm telling you, I'm not alone here. Yeah, okay, Maxine. Stop trying to scare me because it's not going to work. Maxine is now left alone to sit in silence. That is until she hears a scratching noise coming from underneath her bed. Hello? Maxine <laughs> leaps out of her bed, kneels down, and places her ear against the floorboards. And then, boom! A loud bang shakes up the whole room. She is determined to find out what's happening below her. If no one's going to listen to her, she will have to take matters into her own hands. No one believes me, but I know someone's here, and I'm not going to stop until I find them. She gets the basement key from her parents' bedroom and heads down the stairs. She unlocks the door and slowly starts walking down the basement stairs. With each stair creaking behind her, the further she goes, the louder the thumping gets. Maxine switches the light switch on, but sees nothing. <sighs> Maybe I am going crazy. She decides to do some digging and notices an old family portrait that looks out of place. She walks up to the frame to reposition it, but the frame falls and reveals a hidden door. The door has scratches and marks all over it as if someone was trying to escape. But who? What is that? Is someone down there? Babe, we need to go, like, now. Zan, what's going on? Are we having fun? Zan, hello? Zandon, Michael Phelps, what's going on? Woman, would you be quiet for a minute? I'm trying to focus. Well, that's too bad. I want to know what the heck is going on. Is that too bad? <laughs> Maxine manages to open the door. She turned on her flashlight and looked around the room. Once her eyes adjusted, she saw hundreds of lifeless bodies laying on the ground. No, 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 no. What is this? Oh my God. Her scream was cut off when she realized the young girl was still alive. She was just unconscious. Hello? What's your name? My name is Evie. Have fun with Evie, sissy. Maxine froze in shock, realizing this was the girl Sophie was talking about. But what did she mean by play? Do you know my sister Sophie? Sophie? She came down here after he killed all my friends. He kidnapped all of us at the park. He held us captive here for three days. My group of friends tried to get out, so they started banging the forest, but then this morning, he came down and shot all of them to death. I was acting like I was asleep, but I felt the gun on my head and he said, If you try to escape, I will kill you. I'm so sorry. Well, can I ask? Who did this to you? It, it was... They escaped. When I find them, they're dead. Maxine is already gone, and so is his last victim. Seems like the Jacksons weren't so perfect after all.
thank you guys for watching my short story about a very dysfunctional family. Today's question of the day is, if you could star in any mental TV show, what show would you star in? Be sure to comment your answer below and let us know what you think next week's theme should be. Peace out, Mendy. See you next week. Or not.